just <laughs> letting some light in. Happy Passover. Um, just getting up. I can't sleep anymore. It's tough getting old, my friends. Just collecting my thoughts. You know, I'm out here on the mean streets of this brave new digital world where everybody takes their shit out on you, especially the people in the spam accounts, right? The fake accounts who don't give a shit what they say because they don't give a shit about who they are, right? I'm a gay dude, okay? I know something about the closet. I do not live in the closet, but most of y'all flinging your insults out there, right, from your protected private accounts. That's the closet, my friends. Anyway, sometimes these flamethrowers come up with something really smart. The other day, somebody said to me in a comment, you know, they're responding to me, which I love because I'm all about conversation. They said, anytime I hear the phrase peaceful protesters, I think all sorts of violence. I think cars overturned. I think people screaming. I think fires on the street, whatever. And I was like, you know what? That's actually a really good point because I myself hate using the modifier peaceful in front of protest. Why? Because all protest is peaceful. And yet right now, we're in a moment where we're losing our right to protest because protest is being considered violent from the jump, right? <laughs> the NYPD arrested scores of Columbia universities. These are Columbia University students who were having a sit-in on the main quad up at Columbia. Columbia, which squats in Harlem. Squat being a high joke because they gentrified the shit out of that neighborhood, right? Let me talk to you about a city upon a hill, you know? What I'm saying right now could be considered violent right? Even though when I grew up, I learned sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. Names will hurt you, by the way, but not as badly as sticks and stones, right? I'm using my voice, people, okay? It's what God gave me, and listen, I'm no stranger to Judaism. I got a Torah, right? Over here, Fairfax, you know? You know what? The dude in there asked me after he asked me if I was Jewish and I said no. He said, do you believe in God? I said, yeah, I do believe in God. He said, that's all that matters. I said, exactly, that's all that matters. <laughs> right? God who created all of us, not God who destroyed all of us, right? Let's talk about that violence, right? The violence that continues to be perpetrated. I don't care who is perpetrating the violence, but I do care about fairness. I do care about equity. I do care about people coming and taking other people's land, right? I mean, here's the thing about Palestine, yo. People who have been living in their homes. Can you imagine if somebody came and said, you don't get to live here anymore, right? We'd say here in America, fuck that shit. Who are you to tell me to move? Well, that's what we're doing all the time, my friends, right? With our bombs, with our money, right? I mean, God forbid the Palestinians should have an ounce of land, right? That's the point. God forbid they should have even an 
ounce of the land. And by the way, I've been doing my homework, yo. <laughs> the Palestinians have agreed to that ounce of land for years. You know who doesn't agree to it? The Israeli state, the United States, the fucking European states, right? Because nobody wants the Palestinians to have land. Why, I ask you? Don't answer that. Life's too short for rhetorical questions. Because if the Palestinians got their land back, that would mean everybody else would have to get their land back, right? Native peoples in this country and around the world, for starters. Think about that at scale, my friends. It's like the Black feminist teachers who raised me always say, if Black women were free, then that would mean that everybody else would have to be free because the modern world was created through Black women. That's over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So want to talk about violence? Let's talk about the violence of transatlantic chattel slavery, right? Picking up people on the African coast, shipping them against their will to the American coasts so that fucking English people at the end of the day could make some fucking money. Well, I say stop, my friends, right? Because I've got the facts. The facts aren't going away. 